What's up, Nerdgenic Nation? Superhero nerd Aaron Waller here, and I'm going to be honest, this was not the video I thought I was going to be making today. With D23 2022 in the books, there was plenty of news from Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, and so much more. But since I'm the superhero guy, I obviously want to focus on superhero stuff. And to say that Marvel's presentation and news released at this year's event was underwhelming feels like a bit of an understatement. I really thought that I was going to be doing a video on the Fantastic Four casting announcement, but since that basically never happened, and the majority of the news and trailers that came out were kind of lackluster, I instead wanted to shift focus and talk about the thing that has me the most mildly intrigued, as well as a bit confused, and that's the Thunderbolts. Now we've known that the Thunderbolts were on their way, though the structure of the team was largely up in the air, at least until this event. But we now know that the team will be comprised of Yelena Belova, the Winter Soldier, Red Guardian, US Agent, Ghost, Taskmaster, and Valentina Fontaine. Which is kind of an odd mix in my opinion, but when you think of them as Marvel's Suicide Squad, it mildly makes sense. And from what I've seen and read so far online, Elena will likely be the leader of the group, and I'm guessing Winter Soldier will act as the moral compass and Rick Flag of the group, while Val will be more behind the scenes and the Amanda Waller type character, though most of that is yet to be confirmed. The Thunderbolts were originally created to step in for the Avengers after they were thought to be dead and were formed by General Thunderbolt Ross. Now where things get interesting is regarding General Ross, who was portrayed by William Hurt since 2008's The Incredible Hulk, all the way up to 2021's Black Widow. And speaking of The Incredible Hulk, we also got some news that the leader will be making a comeback in Captain America The New World Order of all movies. Be sure to let me know if you guys want a separate video on my theories surrounding that, but if you want to learn more about the leader in the meantime, check out my history of video that I'll link up in the corner. Now unfortunately William Hurt died in early 2022 thus leaving a hole to General Ross's subsequent return and possible eventual turn into the Red Hulk. But not all is lost yet. The way I see it, Marvel has two options. Option one is that they recast the role in which Marvel is no stranger to doing in the past and simply have Ross live on. Or option two is that they simply kill off the character, very much as like they're doing with T'Challa, and make the Thunderbolts his final act or last wish to fill in the gap the Avengers left since there hasn't been a formal team since Endgame. I'd honestly be fine with either one, but that also leaves the question as to who could be the potential villain of the movie. I think as we're moving toward the middle of the multiverse saga, they'll likely just be a stand-in for the Avengers a bit longer, or at least until Kang becomes a bigger presence, and we move towards Phase 6 with the eventual Avengers Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars films. But in terms of their reasoning to come together to fill the gap in the interim, I'm still working out as to who could potentially be the villain, but I'm also not expecting it to be a massive character who will send ripples throughout the MCU. It will likely just be a one and done villain to establish the team just long enough to have them butt heads and then learn to work together to bring down the movie's main villain, but who knows, maybe Zemo broke out of prison and he's running some other scheme. So those are my thoughts on the Thunderbolts as of right now, but now I want to hear from you in the Nergenic community. Are you excited for the Thunderbolts? What did you think of the D23 news? Is there anything you want me to talk more in depth about that was announced? Let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos from me or the rest of the Nergenic team. And also be sure to give us a like and follow across all social media platforms at Nergenic. That way you don't miss out on any special news, announcements, or articles at Nergenic.com. But in the meantime, if you want even more superhero content, check out this History Of playlist right over here that gets a new character added every single Saturday. Or for more Disney content, check out this playlist right over here. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We hope to see you in the next video.